Are NVIDIA GeForce now purposely capping frame rates on certain games? It certainly appears so. Hey everyone and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. Today we're looking into a bit of controversy around GeForce Now, which all started with this Reddit post around premium users no longer guaranteed 60 frames per second. If you're wondering what this is all about, it was sparked from the response from a customer service agent, which is pictured here, around Guardians of the Galaxy being hard capped at 50 frames per second and Cyberpunk at 45 frames per second. It was not a bug that this person was looking at, but it is an actual hard cap. So being the suspicious bunch we are, we thought we'd go and check this out for ourselves. And yes, it's certainly true of Guardians of the Galaxy. We ran several benchmarks, both in the US and the UK, against different servers, and we were getting max FPS of 51 and 53 frames per second. So looking at Cyberpunk, we also saw that 45 frames per second cap as well on both the US and UK servers. Even if you dial the settings all the way down to minimum, there is no getting away from that 45 frames per second cap on Cyberpunk 2077. Now in our investigations, these two are definitely the worst games for those caps, so if you found any others, let us know in the comments below. But what we have found is that the 3060 doesn't have that cap. As you can see from here, the US 3060 that we managed to connect to is showing uncapped Guardians of the Galaxy at 100 frames per second, and it's not every single game. If we look at Far Cry 6, which you can see here, both the in-game overlay and the benchmarks show that this is actually capped at 60 frames per second. So the 60 frames per second cap on the 2080 definitely seems more logical, as this is the max of the stream. However, obviously getting higher frame rates does make that smoother. It's also been verified that there are no caps on the 3080 versions of the game, so the 3060 and 3080s don't have any of those caps but we are seeing the caps on the 2080 D rigs. Definitely for Guardians of the Galaxy at 50 frames per second and on Far Cry 6 at 60 and Cyberpunk 2077 at 45. So let us know if you've seen any other games that also have this. So we also thought we'd have a look at New World. This does not seem to have any caps at all on the 2080 and even when we're pushing the graphics, we're getting dips into the 30s. But if we're running on low to medium graphics, we're getting well over 100 frames per second here, both in-game overlay and also the Steam overlay as well. So these caps definitely aren't all games, and it does seem very strange that those two RTX games have those frame caps. So we don't know whether this is a technical issue, we don't know whether it's purposeful, it certainly seems it from the customer service response, but we have yet to hear from NVIDIA GeForce now as an official stand. The 2080s definitely seem to be having those restrictions, so we don't know whether this is CPU issues, frame rate issues, overheating issues, or anything else. But what is clear is that the community is not very happy about it, especially the silence around this, when everybody's looking for a bit of transparency. But at the end of the day, does it bother you? This is one of the big question points that I want to put to the community out there. If these people hadn't have run these benchmarks to highlight the fact that the streams were actually physically capped at 45 or 50 frames per second, would you have noticed? Did you notice? Because this has obviously been the case since these games launched, and nobody's mentioned it up until this point, so either something changed, or somebody's only just noticed. So, it is interesting, I do find that the 50 frames per second on Guardians of the Galaxy was very hard to tell until you looked for it, on Cyberpunk it was a little bit more obvious, but again, unless you're looking for it, especially with the graphics bumped up, you're going to be hitting that 40 to 50 frames per second caps anyway, just by having the issues with the hardware, and not many people dial those graphics down to low. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think of this, we're not quite sure what to make of it, but it is only a couple of games that seem to have those hard caps right now, unless you guys can let us know some more. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all things cloud gaming, and we will see you next time.